Hey Shubie Doodlers, I have been using a Wacom tablet for years now. I don't own a mouse. Um, I did a, a long animation project and all that click, 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 click. I had to go to the physiotherapist who said, stop, you're going to get RSI. So I've been using a, a pen and tablet um, for, for years, probably 10 years now, something like that. And I don't use a mouse. Uh, and my poor old Wacom tablet is falling apart. And uh, like, like the cavalry coming to the rescue, Huion said, would I like to test out their 2.4 gigahertz wireless Huion graphic tablet? 13.8 by 8.6 inches. And I said, yes, please. Um, one of the things that's always put me off getting one of these before is that the battery is in the pen. And that's always kind of worried me. I've kind of imagined the pen to be quite heavy. And it's not unless it hasn't got the battery in. This has got little nibs in there and this is the holder um, and this is the tablet. Very slick, very smooth, <laughs> rather attractive actually and it's just a fraction bigger than the Intuos that I had. Somehow I'd assume the wireless was Bluetooth but it's not, it's USB and you have a little USB dongle which sits neatly <laughs> in his own little compartment in the back. And you take that out and stick that bit back in again. Now I've also discovered that the little wireless thing that you stick in the back is actually eight gigabytes of memory as well. If you're moving from one desk to another, one computer to another, you can take that little wireless thing, stick it in your tablet and, uh, and, and take files around with you as well. In fact, all the drivers and everything that you need are already preloaded onto that uh, little memory uh, stick come wireless receiver uh, so you don't have to download it at all which I had to, which I did I just now realized so it will show up as as an extra uh, disk drive on the side and all the information is there now, luckily uh, it doesn't matter if you're Windows or Mac you get a manual for Windows and you get a manual for Mac in lots of different languages too. So what do you get inside? You get a pen. Now I have been worried about this. I'd looked at Huey on things before and I've been worried because it's a battery pen. You have to charge it up. You don't with a Wacom. Battery said to me heavy and I've imagined a really heavy pen but it isn't. It's a really light pen. And you get a USB cable which plugs into the bottom to charge up your pen when it needs charging. So obviously you have to remember to charge your pen. <laughs> Along with that you get a pen holder which unscrews and inside there are four spare nibs and a nib extractor. So the pen extractor clips over there and helps you extract the nibs and, and put them back in again. <laughs> okay, It's kind of delicate operation. So that's a little pen holder thing to keep by your tablet. So if you put it there, you will always be able to find where it was you last put it. It's quite springy. So put the cap on because if it falls on the floor you're going to break it. So have you put your little wireless dongle in the back um, you need to switch on the board like that. So you've got an on off switch here and that immediately tells you this little blue light tells you you're connected and then the pen as you touch you can see the little green light comes up on the pen to show that that's working as well. So the first thing you need to do is to go to the Huion website download the driver open the driver and get that working and then it will recognize what's going on. So now here I am, look, I've got my tablet here. I'm, I can use it wirelessly like this. Now when you want to charge it up, then you have a USB cable, which is slightly fiddly, but yeah, that goes in there. So that will charge it up and they say it gives it about 40 hours charge, but then also it will act as a straight USB tablet and you don't need to worry about the wireless. You just need to worry about charging up your pen. Now you do have these assignable keys down the side uh, here and quite honestly, I think most uh, people using a graphics tablet actually use keys on their keyboard because uh, they're used to those. Uh, and I've never actually used these, <laughs> so <laughs> they're there if you want them and you can assign any kind of function you want to them. I've got quite a lot of digital artwork coming up soon and I think I'm actually going to enjoy having that larger tablet size which gives you um, much more of a movement across the screen. So I think I've got to spend a bit of time setting up sensitivities and things like that and getting it used to me and getting myself used to it. 
so what can I say? You know, Wacom are the big name in the business, but <laughs> they're also the big prices as well. Uh, this is so much, much cheaper. And the only downside I, I could see beforehand was the pencil. Um, and, uh, I, and I was worried because it's battery, I thought it was gonna be really, really heavy. And it's not, it's very light, very comfortable. It's got a nice sort of silicon smooth finish to it. The only downside I really can possibly see is, is having to remember to charge up your pencil. And um, I think that's something that you would just get used to. And for the sake of the big price difference, and it is a big price difference, I think I could <laughs> quite happily recommend using a Hui on tablet. And also I will recommend if you're doing a lot of mouse work, do a pen and tablet anyway, because you're going to end up with RSI. Thanks for watching and you can support this channel and get so much more on my Patreon page. Click to find out more. Make sure you are subscribed to the Shoe Render Drawing channel on YouTube and in the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, practice, practice and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.